greatest rappers of all time, Takashi 69 just called out David Dober, calling him a prick. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck was that? We My, German boys. Yeah, German boys. German boys. Okay, okay. Can you do a good, like, 69 impression while being a German boy? Is that something you can do? If you like it, it's like sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Nina, oh, Nina, that man. isn't very clean, bro. Wait, what's what's keep going in German? Oh, okay, okay. So in German, let's get right into this. Lass uns machen. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's get right into this. Here's the video right here. I can't be right. No, I cannot be right. Yo, babe, look at the plane sign he puts in his I cannot be right. Like, every time we go on jets, it's the shittiest jet ever. Is that Steiny has to fund his dream, you know what I'm saying? The cheaper Steiny is with planes, the rest of the money he spends on 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 him. Bro, it's so weird how like, God damn. he's literally just hanging out with 6ix9ine like every single day. Yeah, it's making 6ix9ine like more relatable. Right? It, it's true. It is, it is. Yeah. And I think that's the purpose. And I think they like, also actually like became actual fucking friends. Which for is the sure, weirdest for thing. sure. Like we're totally forgetting the fact that he really wanted to piss on what's that guy's grave. What's that fucking guy's name? King Von. Yeah. He wanted to piss on King King Von's grave. He also like had accusations about like trying to hook up with like 13 year olds and underage people all the time. But That's fucked now up. Now we have to forget about all of it because he's in Steve's vlogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah because man. he's full sending it, now we get to forget about the underage fucking shit. full sending this shit, dude, and fucking ripping fucking 12s on a Saturday night. We forget about it. Yeah, because of that, we forget about the fact that he tried to hang out with underage girls, right? True. Like we're saying that's okay. That's some real uh, American accents you guys got there. No, I'm sorry. Then, then tell us how it's done in German if you actually know so well. Eat the donut like this. All right, let's keep it going. All right, so boys, I'm at New Smyrna Beach. This building is, I own uh, three condos, a million dollars worth. I'm gonna give them all to my mom. So basically, this video is gifting my mom a million dollars worth of real estate, but I'm not gonna use that title because I'm not David Dobrik. I'm not a pussy ass bitch. Yeah. That is a robot <laughs> cheap bitch. I mean, you could say that when you use all of your money to give away stuff. Like, David Dobrik uses all of Seat Geek's money. And it just makes banger videos for David. It makes him look like a great guy the entire time, right? It makes him look like Jesus. God, dude, because if, if you're him, you get canceled for all this shit. You just give away cars and you look like a great person after. You look like exactly. fucking Jesus Christ. I changed this person's life with a Tesla, where Steve's actually kind of doing it with his actual money. No, it's not his actual money. Yeah. It's definitely someone else's fucking money. And Steve will do it doing it, promoting gambling. Steve will yeah. do it is not an angel by any means. I mean, he doesn't make any money off YouTube. He has to have a little bit of a hustle. I'm just saying it's kind of pussy how I know he has that much money but doesn't use that to give it away. He uses his fucking brand. Okay, okay. There's no brand that's saying, hey, Steve, we'll give you all of this money to give this away. Give it over's kind of a pussy, right? Like, that, that's kind of valid. I mean, yes, of course. That's, that's the why first said time it. I've ever heard you say that. That what? David's a pussy? That's like peak in your life right now. Somebody no. clip it and send it to David right now. Not... All of our fans clip this and DM David Dobrik this. Just flood his fucking inbox with this. I'm just saying, like, I get it. Like, David Dobrik does a lot of weird shit. He works with sponsors all the time. It's a little bit pussy shit, for sure, for sure. Great, but would you have said that two months ago? The David, no, but you would have been upset the fact that he always hangs out with like banger girls, but doesn't actually end up fucking him. Steve will do it, hangs out with hot chicks, so and always I'm hooks up with him. I'm not mad about his sexuality, like that. That's still <laughs> a mystery here. I was pissed off that he was using that for views, and how old was that getting? Because you would go into Jenner, Kylie Jenner, swimsuit models, like how no, many girls? You were up, no, no, you were upset about the fact that he hung out with them, but never ended up hooking up with them. That's what you were upset about. I was getting pissed because he'd use girls like Corinna Confidence video, who clearly wants to fuck him and never fucked her. So the truth comes out. Fuck Finally. Yeah, it, it, you, it, dude, we can admit that that's fucking frustrating. You see a banger girl hanging out with him, he's not hooking up with her, and well, only getting her for views, we right? We basically hook up with her anyway, because she's on OnlyFans, so like we don't we don't need to rem reminisce about that anymore. I mean, dude, your right hand just doesn't get it done. You got to see it through. Yeah, yeah. Bitch. We all support that message. Of course. Thank you. Who is he, by the way? He's a prick. 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 He I mean, prick. sounds like one. David yes. Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that just seems kind of like a forced laugh right there. Like, it just seemed like force and made. Yeah, but I, I don't know. It's 6 9 seemed kind of sad hanging out with Steve will do it the entire time, right? It just seems like he's not, like, welcome in the rapper community. Like, fucking Polo G won't hang out with him. 2 Chains won't hang out with him. So he's going out hanging out with the YouTubers. I'm mean, though, they're actually good friends, dude. Like, they buy each other nice shit. Like, he bought him a car, like, two videos ago. Ugh, dude, it just seems kind of desperate and sad from 6 9 It's just kind of embarrassing. I keep it going. We also have Trisha Paytas, who's taking shots at David Dobrik on her podcast. This is just a compilation of people just really hating on David. Dobrik. Let's see what she had to say about it. I feel like everyone's hating on David Dobrik now is because he's just getting his views back. He's, all the views are getting taken away. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. LeBron's the most hated basketball player because he's the most famous one. Mm -hmm. David Dobrik's the most hated because he's the most famous one. It's just that's what comes David with just it. came back and just literally left off like where he started. There's literally 10 million views, 10 million views, 10 million views. Yeah. He came back even better probably. Yeah. All right. Let's keep it going. It, it, the, I have the sickest feeling about it. And even with the Hannah story in... <laughs> 
<laughs> her podcast name is Enemies now. It's yeah, Enemies, no but that's what she named it. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, man. People are popping out podcasts faster than fucking... Then she can pump out, like, fucking OnlyFans videos, Exactly. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, even me just having been there before a really traumatic crime took place... It's some, it still makes me physically sick to this day. And it's it's why I I can't let up on David or the vlog squad because nothing has changed and no one has grown. No one has taken responsibility or accountability. Um, has she, she just, sound like my fucking like school counselor? Like, yeah, she's talking so fucking quiet. Like she's doing like those slow voicemail talks. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like your son is not taking responsibility and needs to like take responsibility for his actions. Like he's like, he's yeah, being a little yeah, pussy about yeah. It. You're right, she's talking like slow, kind of like she's disappointed. I, I don't mean, know. Okay, at the end of the day, you can't say she's fully wrong because at the end of the day, what happened was wrong. But you can't say that they're not learning from their mistakes when you're not even with them. Mm -hmm. They all made videos about the situation that all got millions of views. I think they kind of learned a little bit. And did she? She? She did. She did horrible things in the past too. She made fun of Jewish people. She's yeah. um fucking. But now she's dating a Jewish person. Yeah, so now she, that's making more okay. It's all better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So basically, you're saying like, if I want to be racist towards black people, I have to date a black girl so I can be racist. Exactly. That's, that's, that's kind of what. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit. No, what because you're I said uh, her dating a Jewish person doesn't take away from her being racist towards Jewish people before. It's just hearing like a shitty person call out another shitty person makes it seem like you know it's it, it less like, to the point. It's just like it's shitty. Yeah. Yeah, it just it like invalidates all of the pointing fingers. It's mm -hmm. just like everyone's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like going to like a fucking dinner and somebody who's wearing like the robe of the Ku Klux Klan is calling you out for being rude at the dinner table. Yeah, it's, it's like, like dude, if a you should be talking. Is calling out a Nazi. Yeah, like it's like, hey, that guy's kind of disrespectful. It's, it's like, like but fuck you. Like you also wear the robes of the KKK. It exactly. Doesn't make any better. Like, like Chris, if you got ever like a racism yelled at you, right? Let's say mm -hmm. someone committed a racism against you. Yes. A white dude. He called you the N word. Yeah. Okay. He called you the N word, but you realize they're dating a black girl. He's got this beautiful black woman right next to him the entire time, and they're dating for twenty years. They have kids. They have mixed kids. <laughs> this is the worst situation ever. <laughs> yeah. He just like this, uh, what? Every okay, every white guy know he's racist. Like, like every like, white guy that did a black woman has just like never been that way. Okay, but what if he was? Does if that... he was okay in the wildest situation that he was that way, I'd be like, Yo, shoddy, come over to the actual dark side. Your fucking husband's racist as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get what or you mean. Or I just fucking laugh because that'd be the most funny situation I've ever seen in my entire life. It was literally the situation with fucking Six Nine and Steven, David Dobrik. Like Six Nine was literally like trying to like kill people and piss on people's graves and call them a prick. It's like, and now he's calling David Dobrik. It's like, dude, really, what, really, what's the difference right yeah. there? I, yeah. I get what you mean. Six Nine's also a rapper though, and that's not really. Uncommon for rappers to be like, fuck your dead homie, cuz. Like, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is Ooh. where the story gets a little bit more interesting because what we just talked about with the whole like people calling each other out, it was H3's parents that actually came out and called out uh, Trisha for her behavior as well. Donna Klein, his mom says, what I'm feeling doesn't fit the words. He's such a weasel as well as can't wait to go to her wedding. Not. And then the uh, dad says, in case anyone thought she had any self-respect left, please see above photo. They're like, acting like she like fucking should have cheated on him. Like, Dude. it's like... They're acting like she's LeBron going to Miami from Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is just ridiculous. This is how it is. People just want views. Yeah, but it's the parents calling her out, right? Her calling her out for switching up, not giving a shit about who's actually in the wrong. It kind of is like the 6 9 situation in that it case. Is, it's exactly like it is, but keep your parents off Twitter, man. Yeah, keep your yeah. parents off Twitter. All right, guys, that's what I want to cover. The Bavarian boys were here. Want to go over everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, link down below. Boys, are you guys going to go hook up with a German chick soon? I mean, the only German I'll probably dabble in is Corinna. You know what I'm saying? That's as far as I'm Oh, going. she is German. She's Corinna German. Kampf, right? You, you know would put her. You would put your tough with Corinna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. Peace, I guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.